we see that the, our society is becoming more and more strongly Islamic. Churches being attacked, Christians being killed. So there is, is the, the problem is that the, the mind of a fanatic, of an extremist, who thinks he is doing the will of God. Ci troviamo ora con Joseph Kud, l'arcivescovo di Karachi e presidente della conferenza episcopale del Pakistan. È stato lui a permetterci di venire qua in Pakistan e realizzare il reportage sulla situazione dei cristiani nella Repubblica Islamica del Pakistan. Ci può dire qual è la situazione oggi dei cristiani in Pakistan? In Pakistan, we as Christians, all together, Catholics and Protestants, we are a small minority, we do not have exact figures, but we are about 2% of the population. We have many difficulties. I think the basic problem is that the majority Muslim uh, population, they still have in their minds this idea that in Pakistan, a non-Muslim is not equal to a Muslim, is not an equal citizen. Not officially, our constitution says we are free, we have freedom of religion, we are free to practice our religion, but it's a prejudice that we find in society. And there is also discrimination when we go to find jobs, that has always been there. And now when we hear about Daesh or ISIS and Taliban, these are all influencing our people. In merito alla legge contro la blasfemia, la causa principale della discriminazione dei cristiani in Pakistan, l'arcivescovo di Karachi, Joseph Kutz, si è così espresso. Because of this blasphemy law, it is being misused very easily. It is being misused not only against Christians, but many Muslims are put in jail. Because it becomes very easy to accuse somebody of blasphemy, or that means speaking against the Prophet Muhammad, or even desecrating the holy book, the Quran. So even if it falls from your hand, the, the book falls from your hand by accident, somebody can even say, oh, this is desecration of the holy book, and you can be in very serious trouble. If the case comes before a judge, even the judge is threatened by the fanatics. I will give you an example. A young boy who was about 13 years old, he was accused of blasphemy. The Muslims who accused this Christian boy, they said he had written something very bad on the wall of the mosque against the Prophet Muhammad. So this boy and his two uncles were all three accused for blasphemy and put in jail. And there was enough evidence was given by the lawyer of the Christians that this boy could not have written those words because he was almost illiterate. So the judge said the case is over, he is innocent. But outside the fanatics were screaming And he said he, he is a bad Muslim, he has made the wrong decision. And within about two months, this good judge, who was an honest judge, was killed in his office. 